This is part of the Lakota determent area and uh, when I discussed the army and the government held 1,200 old men, women and children here with those wooden tiers around this area. Neglecting and live, poor living conditions, 300 perished and I wish Amy Allen could come here. I know they're still here. How many of them, I don't know, but there's something that's, I just feel that presence really strong, but I can't see it or know. Even though it was a tragedy, this is still considered sacred, this forest here, and on Pike Island. Most of the forest around here is sacred because the Lakota were here before, uh, before the Wasichas, the white men, the government. When they moved west and colonized this area, they built that fort. So this is sacred ground because they were here first before any of the settlers. I videotaped that one tier over there. The, uh, I call the logged fenced in area they put around this detainment area. And uh, this is one of those logs and they were deeply embedded in the ground and posted so close together. We created a barrier. And I guess the uh, park system over the years have found some of these and, and used a chainsaw to uh, cut them down into smaller pieces and they're kind of spread out through this area here. Definitely a, to offer to me a negative thing because this is what imprisoned those 1,200 old men, women and children as the army sat above them in the fort and neglected them with the poor living conditions. They couldn't get through these logs. They're tapered at the top like this. I'm going to contact somebody from the, there must be a historical society that uh, is strongly for the Lakota people and maybe these tears should be um, picked up and put some place for display because it was a part of the tragedy that occurred in this area. Very strong feeling of paranormal activity for me when I walk through here. I just wish Amy Allen could look at this area and see what I'm not seeing. I'm, I'm only a spiritual sensitive, so I I'm not a psychic medium where I can see or talk or have them speak to me. I don't have that ability. Just, just being a spiritual sensitive where spiritual things are put in front of me in a form of nature or 
uh, things like this that are of st historical value. Well, I'm just posting this with the videos I make from today. Today was supposed to be a day where I'm going out and connecting with the Great Spirit and God and His creation. I talked to the uh, DNR official about a half hour ago. The owl that I had photographed, I uh, believe uh, most likely it was just a barn owl. Uh, we looked it up and it had the same characteristics as the owl that I had found. 